It says it's time to write a poem, but apparently it's time to sit on Mrs. Claus's lap. I am not Mrs. Claus. I'm not fat and chubby. Oh, wait, that's Santa. That's me. You're oh, not she... fat and chubby. Oh. Okay, anyway, puzzle time. Welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train, everyone. <laughs> oh, I'm holding a piece of string. The hell? <laughs> anyway, so to start this, we're going to pick Yuri. Agonizing. Uh, vitality. Melancholy. Fulgent. That was pronounced mel melancholy, honey. It's either one, actually. Really? Depends on where you live, but yes, it's either one. Uh, my English teacher taught me to pronounce it melancholy. As I said, depends on where you live. Okay, fair point. Uh, shoot. Uh, whisper. No, that one's not going to be her. Existence. Okay, I wasn't sure. Unrestrained. Extraordinary. Nope. What? Oh. Uncontrollable. Uh. Squawberry. There's the word squawberry. That one would be Natsuki, actually. I know. Embrace? Fudge you, Sayori. Um, insight. Fester. Miss for oh, I'll screw you, Sayori. Oh. I mean, you're only allowed to screw me. After image. Um. Marsh. No, adventure. No, that's gonna be Sayori. It is. Yup. Empty. Nope, that's Sayori. Scars. Maybe. Oh. Some of the. Screw you, Sayori. Determination. Yes, actually. And, uh, shoot. Pleasure? Okay. And uncanny. This better be Yuri, otherwise. <laughs> okay, that, actually, I am taller than they... Yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> That's you. Hi again, Pink Fox. Glad to see you didn't run away on us, huh? <laughs> ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ha. I am going to do this. <laughs> what? Don't do Things that. Things are going so fast. Okay. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. I need, you're kind of sitting on my bruise. Yeah, right. maybe let's 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 reverse. <laughs> yeah, let's switch. Yeah, that was bruise hurts it was, still. It was probably better this way to start to boot. Oh my. Oh boy. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Whew. Remember, Yuri's me. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me. And our eyes meet for a split second. Nothing. Okay. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Huh, do you know what that sounds like? Your sister. Just a bit. Not really, actually. Your sister loves to hide her face in a book. Yeah, but not like this. I mean, I didn't mean like that. I should just admit she likes to hide her face in a, her pretty face in a book. Okay. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focusing, then, or if I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so. That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious how come. Oh, whoops. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Oh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. Uh -huh. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Yeah, okay, Yuri. Sure, yeah, I see. I see. Apparently yes. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. 
I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's that about, anyway? Well... Hmm... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front of the cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. That sounds like me. My life got really strange when I met you. Yeah. But in a good way. But mm -hmm. this one's talking about their sister. Okay, my sister lived with me for a bit. She's really strange in general. I mean... Okay. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. Whoa. Yeah. Freaky. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... Dark. Pretty much. I mean, Yuri's a dark person. What else is now? It's kind of dark, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Big Fox? No, it's not that. Yes, it's that. <laughs> I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kind of stories... Bring you joy. They challenge you to look at a life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen... Not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Well then, getting philosophical, aren't we? Then suddenly, when you thought you were related to the protagonist, they made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? A little bit. I mean, that ain't nothing new. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That's just... Means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Huh. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, might as well get started reading right Reading it, right? Y y you don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. <sighs> Let me just get the book. Quickly retrieve the book that I had put into my bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I mean, Yuri's apprehensive in general. That's true. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well? <clears throat> well? Just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Mm-hmm. 
Mrs. Cheap. Oops. Yeah. Uh, all right. Are you sure you don't want me to do your voice? I could probably do it. Bah. So you don't have to get your pretty little voice mixed up? I get my voices mixed up anyway. Oh, yeah, that's I mean, true. <clears throat> okay, Bob, go away. Nobody asked you. Bob's not here right now. I'm Eric. Bob, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah, I took the words right out of my mouth. I open the book and start the prologue. All right, I'll let you do, Yuri. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, uh, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. I'm sorry. I was just... Yuri? Yuri? You really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I, I don't need to. Oh, sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's. Then hold my book more between the two of them. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Yuri yeah. takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Huh. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're probably even closer together than before. Yeah, kind of like the two of us. It's actually kind of distracting me. Why? Because you're looking down at her boobs? What boobs? This character Ow. and hers. And she's in the corner of my vision. Yeah, that's what I thought. Are, are, are you ready? Huh? Yeah? To turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. No kidding! I wonder why. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. <laughs> That's okay. She probably knows why he's getting distracted, too. You're not as used to reading, Yuri. There's only things, one thing I can't read. Yeah, Bob, what's that? Shut up, Bob. Go away. Go to sleep. Altoids. Go to bed, Bob. Don't make me tuck you in. What's a bed? Um, a bed of nails. <laughs> okay, next. Next. <laughs> next. I don't mind being impatient if it takes you a bit longer. Yuri, uh, are you okay? It's probably the least I can do. Well, it's the most. That's what I'm scared to find out. <laughs> Since you've been so, so patient with me. Y y yeah. Thanks. Continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn to the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me so I can turn it by my own volition. Huh, that sounds like somebody else I know if I ever start reading books again. No, I won't. You will definitely always finish the pages before I do. Oh, yeah, because I read fast? You read a lot faster than I do. I mean, I read a lot faster than a lot of people do. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, 
Turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. Like this? More like this. There we go. <laughs> My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. <gasps> How dare she? Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all, all the things that she says it does. That, that, that makes two of us. Okay, well then. I mean, the only thing I didn't second guess was you. Aw. Like, she's afraid she'll do something wrong. Okay, that one sounds like me. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. See into your soul. Oh gosh. <laughs> but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. <clears throat> I, I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But being Fox, it's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were so self-conscious about that sort of thing. I, I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. <laughs> wow, dude. Good save. What are you saying all of a sudden? Apparently now, instead of Nazi, our character thinks you're as cute. It's Masky still. He's just trying to keep her happy. Because we totally rewound time just to be able to do that. That's still you. Okay, everyone! You sound exact- Monica sounds exactly like Yuri. No, she doesn't. Similar enough. Or maybe I'm just deaf. I don't know. I try to make Monica sound like Cat Valentine. Yuri just is very pitchy. High-pitched? Yes. Your high pitch is Cat Valentine. No, it's not. It's no, very, it's very, very it's, close. It, it's like an octave different. An octave difference? It's like this. No. That was three <laughs> octaves, actually. Okay, <laughs> then. I think it's time we share today's poems with each other. Jeez. We might not have time if we wait too long. Fair enough. I don't think she's crying, but okay. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. Oops. I'm sorry if I haven't, if I haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, not. Now she just sounds like she's <laughs> whining, but okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Picky. Yeah. I just heard his neck pop, which is why I was like asking. Like six times. <laughs> it's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Ow! <laughs> All right. Guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Either way. Okay. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. Oh, yeah, totally. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up and make a mental note of where I left off in the book. And slip it back into my bag. What? Page 10? <laughs> Probably less than that. Page 2? I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Anyway. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? 
You made my southern accent come out. How dare you? You did that on your own. I did not. Y yeah, totally. I totally did rip a page out of Stan Silverstein's book of poems at all. No. How dare you? My relaxation ends. can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Hey, I was on the page. Yeah, we already read it. Oh, we already? And since these are going to be a little bit different, we'll read it. Definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all, you know, just- Sayori's just... actually there. That's because I rewound. She's not dead right now. And she hasn't, I mean- She hasn't she died hasn't... yet. She does die, yes, at some point, but... You are spoiled the story. If anybody's watching this and they haven't know, they don't know the story yet, they shouldn't be watching it anyway. This is a good poem, Pink Fox. But oops. Are you sure it's your first time? Now she sounds like that? Okay. Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? Uh, I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest. Oh boy. I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. <laughs> that's my response. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I don't even know how to respond to that one. I'm really okay, happy. looks hold on. Looks like we can s fudge buckets. What did you do? This. Looks like all these are the same. Oh. Okay. Natsuki, you should say something different. Let me at least do this. I no, will. I'm... Okay, you can do Natsuki's. Just don't mix it up with yours. Pink Fox! If you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home! Whoa! Rude. What? Harsh. What do you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? You think I'm stupid? I love that. I'm not a writer! If you guys have seen it in the previous video, I think he sounds like something, something from a very adult cartoon. South Park. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put an effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <clears throat> shut her up. Painful to think you? about, isn't it? Didn't you shut her up? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, guess I gotta share mine That's now. That's Noski's, honey. Oh. Well, I guess I'm gonna share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. And we've read this already. Skip. Yep. Yuri. Yuri's time to shine. Again. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Or do you want to do this again? Exceptional. Huh? What was that? Uh, did I say that out loud? Is she moaning now? <laughs> oh! Yuri, uh, are you okay? Uh, Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Hey! Uh, he's going to hate me! What? Uh, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Yes, you're right. What am I 
getting so nervous for? <laughs> Here he takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Not. You used your imagery and metaphor indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow. That's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yeah, I'm questioning it too, Yuri. <laughs> Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. Sure you do. Yuri, are you okay? <laughs> Is she ever? Yuri, are you okay? <laughs> Is she ever? I'm just gonna completely, constantly say that, okay? Yuri trails <laughs> off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. Uh huh. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical for new writers. Like mm. you would know them. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. Yeah, okay, Yuri. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize is in new writers is that they try to make their style very, um, what's the word? Deliberate. That's too obvious of a word. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter. And then they form fit the two oh, together. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know what she's talking about. The end result is that both the style and the expensiveness are weakened. Yeah. It's like when you put two genres of a story together, it doesn't so work so well. So basically two genres of a song sometimes? When you try to mash two genres of anything together, it doesn't... Y you have to be an expert to make it work. Mm. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. Fair enough. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into one writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them, but building them. But getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice. And learning by example is and trying new things. Well then. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Nazki can be a little bit, uh, biased though. Ain't that the truth? But so can you. Biased? How? Um, uh, well, never mind. Yeah, we already know how. I shouldn't be talking about people like that anyway. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Uh, do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. And we're skipping the rest of it, because we've probably already seen it at some point. We have. Wait, what? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Oh. Okay, this is definitely different. Okay, nah. Mine sucked. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? I guess. You sure, yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. Did I give you a confidence boost, Yuri? I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Pink Fox. Yeah, me too. And no one cares what Monica thinks, so we're just gonna skip all of it. Wait, actually, what does she say? You know what? Actually, no. As I said, no one cares. Screw you, Monica. We're here to help other people. Oh. I guess we do care. Never mind. Go ahead. Great job, Pink Fox. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. What? It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to 
go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. I've got the power of a million. Never underestimate me. I got the power of heart. I, I've got the power of heart. I've got the power of triangle. <laughs> yep. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Uh, that's not very fair. And the business industry can be very, very fair, actually. No, well, I guess it worked anyway. That's why, because it always works. You know that Yuri likes his candy, Freddy, right? Huh? I, I couldn't that. have guessed. Writing that form of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers love to derive their own meaning out of it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel. By letting them deeply analyze the, all of the nuisances. Nuances. Nuance. It's pronounced both. No, they're two different yeah. words. Nuance is a type of uh, feeling. Nuisance is someone who's just annoying. Huh. I know what you're thinking. No. What? It's not like I was going to say their names. Fair enough. Anyway. This can take years of practice, which I'm so I'm assuming Yuri already has at this point. I'd be shocked if otherwise. I never really asked, though. I'm sure. Uh, that's me. Oh. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about her. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learning try by trying new things. Alright, this you've already read, apparently. Time to skip all the already read shenanigans. <sighs> hey, you popped everyone. Nope. Really? Not even close. Ah, jeez, the argument. Yuri. Natsuki. You're right that I like your poem. See? Wait. Is it bad that I kind of just want to go off and take a bath? Mm, after today, no, but there's still a few more minutes on this. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, Natsuki. Yeah. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. She doesn't have to. Mm, I understand. Yuri? <laughs> You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Um, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it. And it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. Natsuki doesn't like the word cute, obviously. Even though yeah. she totally does. We'll find I, out about that I, later. I, I see. I didn't notice that. I, I, I'm sorry. <sighs> but Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that- Natsuki, I think that's enough! Oh boy. You both said some things that you didn't mean! Don't you think you should too? Yeah. <laughs> Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped, at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Sometimes when I'm hurt, 
It helps to walk and clear my head. Sayori. Sayori. Oh. She doesn't need to... You know what? I'm going to do that. You'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Gee. Uh, okay, well then. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hand and throws it in the trash. Natsuki! She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. <sighs> you can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. Nope. No, Yuri, how could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? Yeah, you handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well... Ah! Okay, just checking something really quick. That's you. Alright, I believe you. You'll Thanks, see Fox. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Yay! Gratitude. Uh, it, it, it's. I mean, it's. It's nothing. <laughs> one more thing. What? Um, that one thing that Natsuki said. Which one thing? I skipped a lot. About of it. you know. Uh. I would never do anything so shameful. Poor Yuri. So. Huh? What thing did Natsuki say? No. Oh boy. Um. Never mind that. I'm going to make some tea. Uh, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Well then, can we skip? We can skip. Let's skip! Because we don't want to see any of this bullcrap. My tailbone hurts. Yeah, well, luckily, we are pretty much... We're done. Done for this, this episode. Time, episode, so... We'll yeah. see you guys next time. If you guys like this video, uh, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I haven't done very many visual novels yet, but if you want to check any other as others out... Uh, click the link in the bottom right hand corner trying to take you to that destination or any of the stops on this ride will be across from our heads here Or you could check out the drives with Dave and Amber. Those are our favorite parts of the series Yeah, well, that and this one. That's not part of this series. I'm at part of the channel one of them Yes, although I like a lot of it. So it's it's your favorite. That's for dang sure. Yes, both anyway, those are my favorite Anyway, in the meantime, this turns off to its next destination But we hope to catch you guys in another ride all aboard! Bye! Bye-bye!